the Bob Mills Weather Center, Oklahoma weather expert, Lacey Swope. Oh, such a powerful story, and we'll be bringing you more stories just like that one every night up until the anniversary on Saturday. Do want to show you this picture. This is a powerful picture. This is from Shawnee, and this picture was sent in. Holly sent this to me, her daughter. This is McCage and Neely in front of the Shawnee High School. Now, Shawnee is about to have graduation in just a few days, and Holly said, you know, it's just it's one thing to see the destruction on TV. It's another thing to go see it yourself when it's your school and to know that your graduation and everything has been so disrupted. Of course, there were no fatalities in Shawnee, thankfully, with the EF2 tornado that hit just a few weeks ago. But this picture, it just paints a thousand words, doesn't it? And this was photographer Kylie Stidham that snapped that picture. We have had a very active spring across Oklahoma and so many folks still dealing with their homes that have either been destroyed, roofs ripped off, a lot of damage and destruction. Today is a quiet day as far as severe weather is concerned. We've got sunshine across central Oklahoma showers coming in from the northwest. We've had a few thunderstorms in northwestern Oklahoma. Not severe enough to provide some pockets of heavy rain earlier. This is what's left of it. A couple showers south of Freedom. Weak cell went up near Knowles out in the Panhandle and a few sprinkles down farther to the south, but everything's weakening as it tries to make its way to the western sides of the metro. May still get a couple sprinkles in the west metro through midday. We're getting a little bit of cloud cover overhead now in downtown Oklahoma City. That's our Lucky Star Sky Cam Network. It's 65 degrees. Northeast winds are light, lower mid 60s, upper 60s, down to the southwest winds five to 10 miles per hour. It's beautiful, it's comfortable, and today we're headed back to the 70s and the 80s with an easterly breeze. Now our next storm system is approaching, and today we'll start to get southwesterly flow of the jet stream coming out over the panhandle, nothing crazy, but enough to give us enough lift, enough instability that thunderstorms will take off. Those try to make it into western Oklahoma late tonight and tomorrow morning, around five, six o'clock in the morning, rain possible in the metro. 30% chance risk of severe weather extremely low with this round tonight temperatures will be in the 50s and 60s and future next gen shows the showers coming in weakening this morning late this evening look at the rain good rains out in the panhandle this evening and tonight here's 1 a.m. everything crossing over into western Oklahoma by 6 o'clock approaching the metro could have a few rumbles of thunder not out of the question to get some small hail out of this and it weakens tomorrow afternoon partly cloudy may have a few kind of warm air mass thunderstorms that start to go up. It's very spotty in nature, but we'll get hot, unstable in the west and southwest. A few isolated thunderstorms are possible. Some data says the afternoon storms don't happen. It's not locked in, and the more uh, higher chance of rain comes much later in the evening with the complex that fires out in the panhandle. That does look locked in, and that rides across western Oklahoma up to the north overnight into Friday morning. So the first risk for severe weather tomorrow afternoon into the evening hours, mainly in the panhandle, far west and southwest if storms can fire in this zone could produce some wind and hail will be warm enough for it 70s and 80s tomorrow 20 percent chance of rain in oklahoma city tomorrow slightly higher in the west likely in the panhandle but again we'll watch for up to golf ball size hail if these storms can fire between 4 and 11 and there is a very low tornado risk as well so trackers will be geared up ready to go for that then as we go after midnight, storms through the panhandle make it into western, northwestern Oklahoma, into the metro, into Friday morning, and there will be a low risk for severe weather with that as the cold front swings in. Quarter size hail, 60 to 65 mile an hour winds, and flooding is going to be possible because these storms will be big time rain producers. Could have some slightly larger than that hail, golf ball size hail for a while as the complex moves into northwestern Oklahoma. That won't be the norm the way it looks. Then Friday, the cold front presses in. We're in the 60s and 70s. Rain still looks likely Friday afternoon, but the severe risk will be down along the cold front, which will be well south of I-40 by Friday afternoon, and it will provide a low risk for severe weather into the afternoon and evening. So let's add it all up. On average, an inch of rain, some areas two inches. Some data suggests there's some bullseyes up in northwestern Oklahoma, closer to three. We'll have to see where those set up. This system moves out. We've been to the 70s for your weekend. We're dry, cool morning and off and on storm chances next week. We're back with what caught my eye after this break.